Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Back and down. Back and down. Oh, boom. Welcome to the NBA, brother. Man, that was something special right there. Joel B just dropped 70 points and made it look easy. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Roy Hibbert, the two-time NBA All-Star, and I want to get right to the buckets. All right, we got Victor Wembanyama. Let's see how long he's going to be guarding Joel tonight. Let's see how he does as well. Joel catches it. Oh, shoots a three. Hands in the cookie jar. He's going to the free throw line already. Ooh, first bucket, first bucket. 35 points this season. Slice. Yeah, slice. He rejects. He wants to go one on one. Go into his package. Ooh, mid range. Drop it in. I worked with the 76ers and Joel B. Sass have to guard him. It was tough, man. He can just put you in the mixer like that. You just have to play him like three on three full court to help him get in shape. And he kicked my ass, boy. Joel's bringing it up the court. A little step back. Mm, come on, he hasn't even had, like probably not even broken a sweat yet. And I'm not talking bad defense on Victor, but this is just like I'm not even working too hard in the post. My banging, I don't have to, you know. This is just like in and out crossover, like token defense. Joel rebounds, brings it up himself, looking to pass. Are you gonna take it himself? Free throw line, get him in the air. Ooh, nice. It's hard not to bite on those pump fakes because you know, lives in that mid range. When I used to try to guard him, I used to be like real quick with my hands, try to see when the ball was like mid air and like try to try to like you know tip it or deflect it or something. I got him a couple times. He definitely got the so crafty. He definitely got the better of me. I'm telling you, Joel used to like boom, boom. Like I'm trying to guard him in the post. My neck would get so stiff the next three, four days. I got him just moving like this. Half you gonna duck in? Uh huh. Dunk. See that? That's a real good play right here. When you have somebody that falls with some size and like girth, you can just do this and he can just walk his guy down and they clear out that whole other side right there. So there's no help defense. They, they load up this side. So I feel like players like Shaq and uh, Joker can really, who has like size and like uh, Joel can really just like muscle their way. They're like Dwight and stuff like that, you know? So he's pulling. Now this day has to work. Now he's working hard. Ooh, and the and one, but it makes it easy. It's like, this is what I mean when I say other plays, he didn't have to break a sweat because he was just wah, 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 went to his package and everything like that, you know, to, to, to feel like warm up. That's what we do like before games, you go through token defense, you know, uh, and, and everything like that to get warmed up. But this play right here makes me feel like, all right, now we we know he's getting going a little bit, so we have to push him off the block, make him, make him feel you be physical and everything like that. So let's see how I think uh, he does here. He's trying to push him off the block, but that is a hard, he gets him off the block, but he gets sealed up the, up the side and get the end one. If you are going to, uh, say you push him off the block, you push him off the block, you're pushing him, you're pushing him. I'd say right around here is where you probably want to like get back behind them a little bit and everything like that, unless you know you have bottom side defense is going to be there the whole time because so he whips around and spins and then uh, you're too high up and you're just like pretty much you know sealed off right here so but I would suggest the, the the person that's guarding them at this point you worked your butt off you didn't let them get you know deep position in front of the basket in the paint and everything like that that's the channel but then you worked them out now settle a little bit behind now now you got a brace now you got to make sure you don't go for pump fakes fouls don't have your hands in the cookie jar but you give yourself a little bit more of a chance to to, to make them work a little bit more uh, as the shot clock goes down but so he's all the way up he's still up he spins at, at this point he is Okay. So step up, pick and roll for the big man. He gets the switch. He's backing him down. No resistance pass out to Batum. Uh huh. Gets his offensive rebound. Ooh. Gets it to himself. Tap it to himself. Ooh, pat the stats, brother. Pat the stats. Pat the stats. Ooh. Oh man, that's that's so pretty, y'all. That's so pretty. You serious, bro? Bro, he makes it look so easy. Right, Ooh, offensive rebound. Now, Joel doing the dirty work today, offensive rebounds. He could, you know, continue just to back up, get back in transition, but he feels like maybe there's nobody that can guard him, you know, one-on-one, -on -one and then obviously keep him off the board. That's a big boy right there. Mm. All right, the attack, nobody stopping. Just throws up for throwing the offensive rebound. Roll. Good ball fake, size him up, got a double team, he's gonna take on the double team. 
Got the space. Ooh, are you serious, bro? Are you serious? Like, yo, are you serious, Joel? Do it again, one on one. He spins baseline. A oh, euro. Oh, gets to the basket. How are you gonna do a euro in the post? <laughs> yo, you do the euro in the post. Look at this spin baseline. Yo, oh, oh, euro got stepped, caught up. Man, he got fouled like three times before he got there. I like that. Joel on the attack. Rubber. So I see Joel miss two jump shots around the mid range. In my head, I'm thinking, yo, he may need to go to the basket, something to the basket, see the ball go in a couple times. Maybe a post up or or that same play where he just ducks in, stuff like that. But he needs to go to the basket. Dunk. Foul. Joel got 27.7 rebounds. God damn. The ball fake. That middle is open. Now you got the double team. Ooh, nice, 30 points, he got that bucket, ties him up, take your time. Oh, yeah, he thinks he got the size. Ooh, oh, yo, yeah. oh, that's good. <laughs> yo, you see this? You see this? Look at this, he shoots, Ube shoots, one-on-one -on, -one on the box out. He tips it to himself, he gets it to himself, goes up. He gets a nice uh, touch, and then he taps it into himself. He doesn't even bring the ball down and puts it back in. He taps it in like he's playing volleyball or something like that, man. Back him down. Back him down. Ooh! Boom! Welcome to the NBA, brother! Ooh, yeah! Welcome to the NBA. Jones taking a one-on-one -on -one free throw line. Ooh! Ooh, baby! Maxie bringing the ball up the court. He's ducking in. Ducking in, get it where he wants it, boom. Push him off, it goes up. A part of me is just like, at some point, you can just foul him, and he goes to the line and make two, like a hard foul, or or you just let him score, but then you try to limit everybody else. Like, you, like we used to play against but, but the Lakers, we'd be like, yo, we gotta work hard to try to foul. But we would say, all right, you know, Kobe is Kobe. He's going to get his, you know, 26, 25. Maybe we can limit him to 22 tonight or something like that. Or, you know, don't let anybody else get off. Like, Roy, make sure Powell gets all is under his average. But you try to limit everybody else. I'm, I'm interested to see what the box score is for anybody else on the team. If the superstar goes off, he's doing superstar things. Duck in, catches it, finish with the left. Oh, get the M Get the rebound, get the pad the stats. Joel's bringing the ball up the court. Pat, oh, go and put it in the, oh, sh oh, put the back, oh, pass. Oh, he's not just scoring, he's he's passing too. That was nasty. Oh, catch in your sweet spot, size him up. Ooh, that's a layup, y'all. I used to try to get up on his hip and like, you know, take away one shot and then just hopefully I can like make him take a tough shot. Side pick up, in the middle pick and roll, he rolls. Throw it. Good to pass Batum. Batum had a shot himself. Let me see here. Did Batum have a shot himself? And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it to the to big man. He could have he could have shot this himself. He could have just caught it, look at the basket, little little short jump shot, but he passed it through hands to his teammate. And he's like, you know what, my teammate is balling right now. Let me keep him going. Makes me look good feeding the beast. Shout out to Brett Brown. You know, he was like, when I worked for the 76ers that year during that COVID year, he was so like always open to hearing my suggestions and everything like that. I was like, uh, I wanted to learn how to become a coach. So I was a player development associate. So I was out there like getting the chairs for the guys, putting them around in the circle and stuff like that so they could watch film. Coach would be like, Roy, you, are, you you an all-star. Come here, let me hear what you want to talk about practice. I'm like, all right, let me do my job first, then I'll come. Definitely always used to give him my, my, my thoughts on the first play of the game on offense and defense. But, uh, ooh, spin, pump fake. And one, you know, he has the best touch. You know, it's so hard because you want to go for that pump fake because he's so close to the basket, man. But, ooh. Ooh, 50. Oh, that's a sweet spot, it's a sweet spot. That's his sweet spot. I feel like you gotta get closer to him. I'm not telling you like it's gonna work, but what if you keep doing the same defensive thing over and over and over, like it's bound not to to work. He throws it over the top. He takes the space with the finish. Oh my god. 55. Hey, that's my number right there. Oh, 56. Oh, he's, he's a little catches it, turns. Oh, 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 baby. 
Oh, baby. <laughs> you don't even look tired. 59 points, 15 rebounds, 21 of 35 shooting. He who remains. What else? Huh? So quick spin baseline. He's there. He spins back. Ooh, your elbow was in the cookie jar. Even if you didn't mean to, elbow was in the cookie jar. Wow. He's about to pass up. Wilt. AI. Uh, shout out to AI, man. Georgetown. It's great. 61. Then he'll pick and roll. Maxi comes off. Maxi passes to Joel. He sizes him up in the sweet spot. Bro, come on, man. Oh, 65. So they got a technical foul. Joel's going to the free throw line. Looking calm, calm. Ooh, 66, yo. Joel's bringing the ball down the court. He's backing him down, backing him down. Mm, 67, 67 points, man. I mean, I was there when Kobe hit 60, but that was like, a, that was a last, that was something special. I should do a video on that one right there. I got to do some good film on that. Oh, man. He wants 70. He's hungry. He's going for it. 70. He was hungry, y'all. He was going to get that one. Yo, this is what coaches do. Like, with, like they call a timeout for a whole arena can cut. You know, give you a standing ovation, man. You know, I'm really happy for, for Joel. That was like a real nice 70 points right there, man. Kudos to you, brother. Post work looked good. Conditioning looked good. And that was something special right there. Happy, happy to be able to, to watch that and, and, and see that. Hold on, let me look at the box score real quick. Let me see what else everybody else had before we uh, before we get out of here. Wembyama had 33 points, five fouls. I understand that. You guard Joel, two blocks, two assists, seven rebounds, three offensive, hit two of five from the uh, three-point line shot. 40%. Tobias Harris had 14 points. Tyrese Maxey had 18. The next closest person was 8 points, man. But Joel, 70 points. 18 rebounds, 9 offensive, 9 defensive. That's getting offensive rebounds is that, that one. That's that's toughness and heart right there. That was that was that was special right there. I, I'm happy I got to watch that and, and react to that. Alright, y'all. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell a friend. It helps me out. And maybe that friend can tell another friend. Alright. You know, keep watching me. This video on the side here for you guys to watch i always got videos for you guys to watch i'm making them every day so please come back and check them out please like and subscribe hit me in the comments i'll be in there too all right y'all have a nice day